So you want to know the most interesting part about this Rand Paul filibuster, which is getting, I would say, probably more positive reviews, but there are some people who like to call themselves progressives, there are no such thing, who are saying, oh, how dare he, ridiculous filibuster. The most interesting thing, the filibuster worked. So what do I mean by that? Because that obviously requires a little bit more explanation. Well, Attorney General Eric Holder sent a letter today saying, quote, it has come to my attention that you, you now have asked an additional question. This is to Senator Rand Paul. Does the president have the authority to use a weaponized drone to kill an American not engaged in combat on American soil? The answer to that question is no. That's it. The filibuster worked. Now, I don't care who you listen to, whether it's, you know, the, the more progressive media outlets or the, the right-leaning outlets or the ones that do the false equivalents at all costs, call it 50-50 neutrality outlets. The fact of the matter is, the goal of Rand Paul doing the filibuster was to get assurance from the administration that you can't assassinate Americans on American soil with a drone. And it has to do with the Fifth Amendment, due process of law. If you're an American, you're in America, and you do something that's illegal, you get a trial. These are things that go all the way back to Magna Carta, which was written in 1215. But now all of a sudden we're gonna abandon it? And we're gonna become more primitive? We're gonna de-evolve? I mean, what is this? It's nonsense. So look, at least according to the letter from Attorney General Eric Holder, no matter how people try to spin it, Business Insider had a headline, for example, and they usually do a great job, so I'm not, this isn't really a, a stab at them or anything, but they had a headline saying, uh, Attorney General sends a snarky letter back to, back to Ra uh, Rand Paul. <laughs> what do you mean, snarky letter? He's basically saying, okay, you got us. There, we're saying it. You, you can't kill an American on American soil with a drone, period. That's it. And Rand Paul responded appropriately. He was like, woo, good, awesome, I'm happy. Uh, so, and just to show you guys and, and explain more explicitly as to how this is definitely a win for Rand Paul and for the Constitution, uh, let me read you what was said before by Eric Holder, which was much more gray, and much more gray area, and much more like, hmm, maybe if we feel like it. Quote, it is possible, I suppose, to imagine an extraordinary circumstance in which it would be necessary and appropriate under the Constitution and applicable laws of the United States for the President to authorize the military to use lethal force within the territory of the United States. So you see what I'm saying? This is why Rand Paul was filibuster. He's like, no, wait a second. And by the way, the, the nickname for uh, Brennan, the CIA pick who he was filibustering, is Dr. Drone. This is a guy who doesn't give a goddamn about civil liberties, and he never did. And he also, by the way, had hands-on uh, responsibility for Bush's torture program. This is who a liberal Democrat picks to be the head of the CIA? Who does that? As Rand Paul said accurately at the beginning of his speech and many times during his filibuster, not candidate Obama, not Barack Obama from 2007, uh, continues, asked by... by Senate Republicans Wednesday whether, whether that meant the U.S. could kill any suspected terrorist who was not posing an imminent threat. Holder said the question was not appropriate. Why is that not appropriate? That's only the most appropriate question I've ever heard. Do you think the executive branch has the right to kill American citizens on American soil without due process of law? Say, oh, they're on our kill list, so go to Milwaukee and kill this guy. The answer to the question, again, as Rand Paul said, and he's 100% right, is no. It's not that hard a question.